We are back with you now on Wave Listens Live, and we've got Jim Desmond back with us now, Desmond Law Office. And we mentioned before the break, we were talking a bit about Derby and this time of year that is a lot of fun, but got to keep ourselves safe as well. Right. And, and let's go ahead and let's give some information to your viewers that it, whether it's me, another personal injury attorney, anyone else, it's going to be good information. Okay. Okay. So the first thing that everybody has to get in their head is that everybody wants to say the other guy caused the accident, he's going to be responsible for everything. Doesn't work that way. I wish it did. Um, about one third of our, I've said this before in these segments, one third of our drivers are uninsured. So that means everything falls back on your insurance policy to try to recover, whether it's the car, the medical bills, everything else. Um, the other thing is the, the state minimum in Kentucky and Indiana both is 25,000 per, per person. So somebody takes off your left arm and they, you know, you have 700,000 in medical bills and the insurance company says, sorry for your luck, here's our $25,000, okay? Mm -hmm. And so again, you, it's on your own policy before any of these events happen, uninsured and underinsured, at least 100000 per person. Okay. And I guarantee you, I don't care if it's the big firms, I don't care if it's me or another you know, attorney, they, they will tell you that's good advice to use, period. And what I do personally, like, because I have young kids that are costing me an arm and a leg with driving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Other parents out there can probably attest yeah. to that. I'll resist the urge to, to talk about their driving history on TV. <laughs> um, but, you know, what I do is I, for example, my car deductibles, mm -hmm. instead of 500, I think I've got 1,000 on the one I'm driving right now. So again, I will increase other things that I know I can afford a $500 bill more than I can a $30,000 medical bill. Right. And that's why I tell people this is what you need. This is good advice because when people are signing up for, for auto insurance, uh, you're not doing so usually with an attorney with, that has this, this knowledge and, right. and it's not like you can see the future. But what about when people are looking at even things, I, I know it depends if you have a, a, a car note or something like that, but when it comes to, to liability versus full coverage and things like that, uh, obviously you're your income is going to determine how much you can spend on insurance, right. but is there something as an attorney and, and seeing as many car wreck cases as you have that you would never do insurance-wise uh, no, if your budget allowed? Never, never do insurance. I don't know if I never do. I mean, things like I think rental car insurance and this other stuff, I think those are unnecessary okay. in some respects. You hit on liability insurance. The higher you... Uh, w the key for anybody is you look at what you call a deck page, okay, declarations page, and that's the one with all the numbers on it. And no matter what the coverage is, they'll have like 25,000 slash 50,000. First number is the maximum one person can recover. Second number is no matter how many people are injured in that accident, that's all they're going to pay out. Well, with liability insurance, that protects you when you're at fault, not if you're not at fault. So the thing is, the higher you have, the more the insurance company is going to fight to protect you and not, you know, expose you, yourself to, you know, an excess judgment and somebody saying, hey, I want some of your assets. Um, I wouldn't, I, you know, most people, I, unless you have a lot of assets, I wouldn't tell you you need a million dollars or anything like that. The ones okay. I want you to have, the uninsured and underinsured is the guy has no insurance, your company acts like they insure him. The underinsured, they don't have enough, that gives us another source to recover from down the road. And, and you hit some, Brian, on some, and then there's another thing about no fault, I'll come back to on, on medical bills. You hit something key on that, it's not just pain and suffering. I mean, if you have an injury claim, it means you have damages. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, you're off work, you've got medical bills, um, these type of things. And, you know, how easy is it to get it all done? I have a motorcycle case, I'm just, I had three people at fault, I've gotten two of them to roll over and, and pay their policy limits. But the girl's medical bills are much higher than the policy limits. So I've really had to kind of take, I've had to add two or three policies together to get a halfway decent recovery and then use tools like the health insurance to get the medical bills down. Um, and they even have the right to get their money back. Health insurance can assert a lien and say, hey, we want our money back. So it, it gets complicated. And this is why I tell people, look, don't hesitate to call. I mean, yeah. I, I, and even if just somebody has a car, that's the other thing I don't like about our, our advertising these days. They all say, well, if you're injured, if you've been in a car wreck period, pick up the phone, call me, I don't care. It doesn't mean I'm gonna help you in the sense that I'm gonna open a claim you know, or a case, cause I, but I'm, I mean, I don't mind giving you 10 minutes of advice that, you know, your Toyota got damaged and you're not getting it fully paid for by the insurance company, but you weren't injured. I'm like, I'll give you 10 minutes of my, you know, impression and we'll go from there. Right. So. And, and those are things that, that look, maybe all of us will be in a wreck or at some point in our lives, or I certainly know someone that has, but most of us are not going to know, even if it's something minor, the information that you're able to provide. Why do you do that? Just to be a part of the community where you say, hey, I'm a resource for people. You want to make sure that you're there helping Absolutely. people as much. 
much as possible? Well, it, it's, it's, yes, it's that, and it's also the fact that I would rather have them be on track mm -hmm. than to do than to go off track. And so many people will call you afterwards anyways. They'll call you. If somebody wants to handle their own claim, I'll give them a, an idea of these things in the beginning. And sometimes I'll hear from them four months later because it gets very complicated. Right. Um, but I would rather have them understand their rights because, again, I, I don't think insurance companies are evil, but their job is not to convey their rights to you, your rights to you. So again, you, you get a policy limits offer from an insurance company. They say, hey, this is all we've got. You think you're doing great. You don't pay any attorney fee. Well, did you preserve your right to go against the underinsured coverage or not? They're not going to tell you how to do it. Hmm. And you're held to the same standard that I am, even though I've done car wrecks for 20 plus years. You know, so it, it's, it is a situation where, again, I would rather have people, you know, th Louisville has been great. I started literally, okay, when I left this other law firm, I had no cases, my cell phone, and a laptop. And, you know, I've had a good 20, 25 years of a good run, but people have been great. So, yeah, I'm happy to kind of pick up the phone and say, hey, this is the situation. Um, and most people have been, they just, they just want help. They just want the advice for a second. They just want to know, I mean, you know, you just want to be able to talk to somebody you know knows what they're doing. Right, and knows you're on the right track then. Yeah, and it's not 30 minutes long. It's literally most things we can, I can answer within three minutes to 10 minutes at most. Um, and then you tell them, look, you know, see, you know, this is what I think. Call me back if it doesn't work, mm -hmm. and you know, we'll brainstorm a little bit. It's fun. I mean, it, it's fun when you can get somebody who insurance company is telling them that they don't, they're not entitled to the loss of use of their vehicle, only the repair. And then all of a sudden, you turn it around, and they get, you know, money for the loss of use or their diminution in value again, that the vehicle is worth more, you know, or worth less because it's been in an accident. You know, it, it's not. Um, I enjoy those kind of challenges, and that's why, I mean, my kids, they, they're like, don't talk about car wrecks. They do it all the time. So. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you're on vacation, and you're, bringing, you're trying to solve well, I puzzles. Pick, and <laughs> I pick up the phone on vacation. A friend of mine I was just on vacation with recently, and he, he looked at me and said, what are you doing? Just take it, you know, and I'm you're like, into no. it. You're into it. Exactly. Well, well, we appreciate having somebody like you uh, on our side here in the city. So we've got about 30 seconds left. I've popped up the website here. But best way to get in touch with you if, if somebody has Cell a problem. Cell phone number you're seeing right there, the 609 number. Yeah, I answered on weekends, too. Okay. Uh, call or text happy to pick it up okay easy enough and then it's derby season so we're gonna have people in town so you know traffic kind of gets a little be safe yeah little I don't wonky. want them to be in an accident I really don't right. I just want them to call me instead of the big guy if they are yeah. so, <laughs> so that you're able to help well I appreciate you stopping by listens live uh, with us and sharing all this great information and I uh, we'll look forward to having you on here soon it's always a pleasure Brian I appreciate it